Hi friends, this is Deanna here today, and today we're sewing up the Lally dress uh, from Tiana's Closet. I'm not really sure how to pronounce the name, but the information will be in the box below. This is a woven pattern. Um, I'm super excited about it because it looks adorable. It's got a yoke in the front. It's kind of just a straight dress with these beautiful sleeves. So let's do it. All right, so this is the free Leilai square neck dress. I'm not really sure what it is called, but I'm gonna call it Leilai, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, for this pattern, it tells you to see how it has the little scissors all over the place. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make sure that I overlap mm, this way. So page one and page two. They're supposed to be overlapping. You're supposed to be cutting that so that they can overlap. If you put it right over the line, you'll be able to see. It's kind of hard to see. Or you probably can't see it there. Let me cut this one. So what I usually like to do is I just like to cut the top and the side and then just overlap it. If you cut all the lines, then you'll have to end up using tape. And I don't love using tape. I like to use glue better. So that's what I like to do. So I'm going to show you. I use um, washable glue the purple stick and then I overlap it right there since I didn't cut the other one and as you can see when you overlap it it's nice and even right here on the overlap see that and that's how I like to put my patterns together so I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting like I said I'm gonna cut the top and the side the left side of my pattern pieces and I'm gonna go ahead and glue them together If you look at your first page, it gives you an outline of how you're supposed to piece it together. So if you get lost, you can go back and look at that outline and make sure you're following it correctly. All right, let's start by cutting our fabric. I'm using this double gauze. is a woven fabric with this really pretty texture. I don't know if you can see it because it's black. Um, so the sleeve is cut. You're gonna cut two mirror and the bodice front and back, you're gonna cut on the fold and the fold is on this side. So you see me folding the fabric and cutting along the other edge. I measure some in between a medium and large. So I'm going to go with the large and then try it on. And if I have to, uh, take off on the sides then I'll do that but I want to make sure that um, that it fits so that's why I wanted to go with the size up um, also if you can see there's four lines because I printed a medium and large and the second line is the seam allowance so you want to cut on the second line when you're cutting out your pattern because you want to have that seam allowance already included I am 5'7", so I'm adding an inch at the bottom for height. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my fabric and on the wrong side of it, I'm going to place my interfacing. It's hard to tell what's the right and wrong side with this black fabric. I'm gonna grab the front yoke and I'm gonna place it, uh, the, the two pieces, I'm gonna place the right sides together on top of each other. So the right sides are touching. And I'm gonna sew up the neckline, going down, turn over, turn up. It's kind of hard to see on here because it's black, but if you have uh, like a chalk pen or something, you may want to draw your seam allowance line here 
So when you're sewing, you can catch that seam allowance line, turn and keep going. That will help. I'm just using my pins to guide me. But if you were having a hard time, I would suggest drawing the line to where your coin, your corner is going to be. While I'm at it, I'm going to grab my front bodice. The first thing I'm going to do is I want to mark, I'm going to mark where my center of my front bodice is because I didn't do a little notch. So I'm just going to put a little clip here. And then what I'm going to do once I'm sewing this up, I'm going to then lengthen my stitch and I'm going to put in here at the front a basting stitch. So a long straight stitch because this is going to get gathered to fit the neckline here. So there you're going to have a little bit of gathering here at the front. So I'm going to put in a straight, a straight long stitch where I can gather this up to fit this neckline after. lengthen my stitch and I'm going to put in that um, stitch along the front pulling leaving a tail to help me gather after and then we're just going to go and do like a quarter inch and then leaving a tail at the end all right now that this neckline is sewn together these are the uh, yokes um, what we're going to do is we're going to, right here in the corners, we're going to clip the corner to the stitch line. Don't cut the stitch line, but you're just going to go right up to it on both sides. Okay. And then we're going to flip it around. And you can first is you can grab your seam allowance and stitch it to the aligning piece by folding the seam allowance over the lining where you put the uh, what do you call it the facing on and top stitch it down so that it's not going to come open on you and like flip out you can go ahead and do that i don't usually like stay stitching very much I mean, under stitching very much. It's called under stitching. I don't really love under stitching very much, so a lot of times I don't do it. But if you don't do it, then um, sometimes your fabric might come up like this from the bottom and stick up when you're wearing it. So it is a good thing to do. So I might go ahead and do it just so I don't have to deal with the color trying to stand and come up at me. Okay, so I steamed it. So what what I mean by under stitching is. Here, this is the back of it, where the facing is. Here's the front of it, the front of the neckline here. So you can see it right here. So under stitching means that you can open up this neckline and here the seam allowance is gonna get stitched to the facing here. So I can go ahead and kind of pin it, go to my sewing machine and stitch it down so that it's not gonna come up, move up, when I'm wearing it, it's not gonna try to come under. And you would do it to all the sides here and here as well, right here. Don't forget to return your stitch to the regular length so you're not just using a, like a, a basting stitch. All right, once you're ready to sew on the uh, yoke to the top of the bodice, you're going to grab and gather. So I moved my pin, but it's right here is where the center is. And I'm going to gather this top to fit this um, yoke here. And I actually want to have a little bit of, of extra space here at the end for pivoting for my seam allowance here. So I'm just gathering a little bit over like a quarter inch more than I, you know, need to because I want to be able to have a little bit of space here at the ends because I'm going to turn and pivot my fabric. So now I'm going to place my fabric right on top, my yoke right sides together, so the right side of the yoke to the right side of the bodice. Line it up. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and sew this first. Sew a straight line here first. And then I'll come back and pivot and sew those sides together here. So let's go do that and then come back and do that. I think it'd be easier to do it that way. All right, now that bottom is clipped. And remember, you don't go past it. You just go right up to it. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it this way. 
to sew the side seams to the side of the dress. And so here, we're gonna start and we're kind of pivoting over and then we're gonna clip that corner again here so that way you'll do a little turn. Okay, you wanna make sure that you catch it. So if you wanna go ahead and trim it now a little bit so that you can catch it, but you gotta catch it under the trim, right? So you gotta make sure you catch it and turn over, right? It's kinda of hard to see on this black fabric, but I hope that me talking to you and telling you um, can really do the trick to explain what I'm trying to do here. I'm just latching it over to the other side. I'm gonna trim this little corner so I can pivot over and sew it. And of course you could have done this all in one little draft, starting from the beginning and going all the way around, but I wanted to do it um, like the front first and then come around. I felt like maybe that would make it a little bit easier, but maybe not. Maybe it's just easier to do it all at once. You know, the worst part is, is that I have this fabric that is like, it's double gauze, which means it kind of gives a little bit of stretch, but not really because it's got that texture. So it's like, I'm trying to fit it all in here, this wiggly texture and not, not let it bunch up or anything, but I think we've got it. All right, so we're gonna go on the sides. So I'm gonna start where I left off, pivot and go down and do the same on both sides. All right, so because I had already done the straight line this way, when I went to the sides, I was just able to go right, run over it and go straight off the edges, which made it super simple and it ended up really good here in the corners. I have no issues here in the corners and it looks really good. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I want to go to my serger and finish off this raw edges here because I don't want it to fray on me. So you can do that with a sewing machine. I'm gonna just do it on my serger real quick here to finish that off. And while I'm over there, I'm gonna grab my back piece, my back panel and put it right side up. And I'm gonna grab my lining, my neck lining facing, I mean, and I'm gonna place it right on top and sew it on. I'm only gonna sew the neckline area because I'm gonna have to sew the shoulders of the bodice front and back together first, but I wanna sew this uh, on here. I'm only doing it a little bit, giving it a little stretch because of the fact that this fabric is the stretchy fabric. So that's why, not stretchy, but it's that double gauze, gauze that has a little bit of give. So anyway, I'm gonna sew just the neckline on and this will get folded over. So I don't worry about trimming, uh, sewing that seam, that finishing that raw edge. For the back facing, we're gonna go ahead and once it's sewn, I clipped it a little bit and we're gonna turn it over to the wrong side. So it's wrong, wrong wrong sides touching and give it a steam and you can under stitch that as well by sewing up the allowance to the um where the facing is to the wrong side so it's not going to poke out on you as well just like we did the front and now what we're going to do here we've got the back face up we've got the front i finished those raw edges here at the uh, yoke right here and we're gonna match up those shoulder seams. Right there. Now I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna grab my sleeve. All right, now for the sleeve, we're gonna go ahead and put in a gathering stitch at the top because we're going to gather that sleeve. We're also going to put in the gathering stitch here at the bottom because we're going to gather it to fit our cuff. Our cuff is gonna get folded wrong sides and I'm going to attach it to the bottom. So first we're gonna put in that gathering stitch here, gathering stitch here, so that we prep the sleeve, then we'll attach the cuff, sew it on the round, and then we'll attach it to our bodice. Mm. Ah, of course, it was going too well. All right, here we go again. Now that my bobbin is wound. That sounds weird. It sounds off. 
Yeah, it's not working correctly. What's going on? Why are you not working right? Let's do it again. It's still not sounding right. No, it's not. It's like being weird. Weird. Uh, why are you being so weird? We're going to th re-threat the whole thing. The whole situation is going to get redone because it's not, it's not giving me good vibes. We're even going to re-thread the bobbin. Let's try one more time. Pull a little bit of it off because we're going to need it for gathering. All right. It's, oh my word, what's going on? One last time. If not, I'm gonna chuck the project. No, I'm just kidding. It's nothing to do with this project. I don't know why you're messing with me. But, just so you all know, this happens to everyone. I may have to switch my needle, actually. I've had this needle for a while and it is, it has been giving me trouble. Oh, there we go. That sounds better. Let me ask you this, can you tell the difference? Did you hear that? Did you hear the difference between when it wasn't doing its job and when it was? All right, so now I've got gathering stitches at the top of the sleeve and at the bottom of the sleeve. And now I'm gonna sew those shoulders. Once I'm gonna sew them here on my sewing machine, but then I'm also going to head over to my serger real quickly and um, serge them at the raw edge. That way they're nice and um, searched. Finished is the word I was looking for, not surged. <laughs> Alrighty, so now I gotta find the right side of the fabric again. And where did I put them? Where are my little cuffy things? Oh, here they are. On the ground. Find the right side of the cuff and fold it wrong sides together. And steam, actually, I'm gonna steam that up. Wrong sides together along the long straight edge all right and what i'm going to do is you know what i'm going to find a half of my bottom of my sleeve and i'm also going to find the half of my cuff and i'm going to gather this sleeve to fit my cuff even out those gathers is not a lot just a little bit and then I'm going to flip my cuff right on top and sew that right sides together. I'm going to sew them together first and then I'm going to go to my serger and serge the raw edge so that it's finished. Okay, I'm going to sew that up. All right, so once that's been sewn here at the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and fold it right sides together and sew that outer raw edge to create our sleeve. And you can steam this, I haven't steamed it yet, but it would be good to steam that seam allowance and you could even top stitch it down if you wanted to. That is up to you. I'm also grabbing my bodice Folding it right sides together and sewing those raw edges right sides together. And the raw edge of the sleeve and the raw edge of this bodice, after I sew it first with my sewing machine, I'm going to go in and finish the raw edges with my serger. I want to finish all the raw edges because this is a woven, so the fabric will fray. And I don't want it to fray on me as I'm wearing it. <laughs> Also, I'm gonna have to roll a, a lint brush around this because there is a ton of lint all over it. This is it my uh, second time sewing with double gauze and I, I love the feel of the fabric and it sews pretty nicely, but it does catch lots of lint. Also, let me comment below and let me know, have you worked with this fabric before? Are you gonna try this pattern? 
I think this would be really cute with a linen fabric as well. All right, friends, we're at the part where I sewed up the sides and the shoulders. I haven't attached the sleeves yet, so I wanted to try it on because this is the part where I would see if I need to take in a little bit at the waist or not. I actually like that's a little bit oversized. Um, it fits really super comfortable. Um, and I am kind of obsessed with this sleeveless look. It looks so cute. Um, I think I'm going to do another version of this where I do it sleeveless and I will take it in a little bit more. So it's a little bit more fitted here at the top because it looks super cute sleeveless as well. But I want to move on and attach those sleeves. But I will suggest that you go ahead and try it on now because like I said, if it's a little bit loose, this is where you could come in at the shoulder my shoulders hit just right you could come in here at the sides which I could but I think I like the oversized look so I'm gonna leave it uh, you could come in at the hip and then you also check your hemline because now I'm going to serge it and top stitch it down and I'll be done with that I'm gonna attach the sleeve beating my hair I'm gonna attach my sleeves hem and we'll be done but it's looking very very cute I'm excited All right, it's coming along and it's looking beautiful. So I'm going to turn it inside out because I want to attach my sleeves now. And I'm going to fit them in because it's an inset sleeve. I'm going to grab my sleeve and turn it right side out because I'm going to match the right side of the sleeve with the wrong side of the fabric. I mean, with the right side of the right side of the sleeve with the right side of the of the arm side that's what this is called the arm side now as you can see this is the front and this is the back and on my sleeve i marked my back with the two little notches we're going to start by inserting that sleeve in and matching first that bottom seam here at the armpit match up the seams and then looking at the top notch where the top of the uh, sleeve is and that's also marked in your pattern so if you didn't mark it in your pattern you go back to your pattern piece and if you didn't mark your fabric go back to the pattern piece and mark where that is so now what we're going to do is we're going to just pull this basting stitch this gathering stitch that we put here at the sleeve so that the sleeve fits inside this arm side and it's not I don't feel like there's a ton of gathering here that's got to happen. So just pull it a little bit until the sleeve fits nicely. Which again, it's not a whole lot. And I like to have most of my gathers towards the top of the sleeve here. And once again, I will sew it on with the sewing machine and then I will go and finish it up with the serger. And I'm going to do this side as well. At the bottom, I'm going to go in and serge the bottom and then fold in and top stitch for a hem. Or you can do a double fold where you fold once and then fold again and top stitch. Here at the shoulders and the side seams, I have a tail. So what I like to do is I just put it right over my allowance and with a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine, I tuck it down and then I just clip the end of it. Super easy. So I do that to all those places where I have that seam, that tail right there. All right, friends, we are finished with this dress. I think it turned out adorable i love the neckline i love the fit the sleeves are amazing um i would probably go in a little bit at the sides here next time uh, but i just love it and it is, the intended look of it is this more of an oversized look i think it turned out really super cute i think the construction was super straightforward and easy to do I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know that the black's a little bit difficult to see, but because it was straightforward and I really wanted this in black, I figured hopefully with all the instructions that I gave you, it will be easy to follow. I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Follow me if you're not following so you don't miss any of these tutorials. 
Also, follow me on um, Instagram at Eloise.Ezra, where I show more behind the scenes and talk about all the different free patterns. I have uh, highlights and stories where you can find all the free patterns tagged on there. Um, go grab this pattern from the description below. Come back, sew it up with me. And if you do make it and you do have an Instagram, I'd love for you to tag me on it. I'd love to see it. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.